Welcome everyone to the WSA TV show, women's premiere show, first one of the year. I'm Laura Rubenstein, your host and producer. And today we are talking about what? We're talking about how can you set up yourself for success, your business up for success in 2022. We have so much here at Women Speakers Association. We're dedicated to giving you so much. And so I want to um, start off with Gail. What do you think? The biggest challenges and holding people, women back has been up until now. Well, a few different things. Uh, just before I dive in there, I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. <laughs> anyway, um, what are holding women back? Well, the big part, I believe, uh, just from conversations that I've been having with a lot of women from around the world is our own personal fears. Um, or sometimes it's those voices of the past reminding us that perhaps we're not good enough or what we have to say, um, it won't be listened to. Um, and maybe that we don't provide enough value you know, enough value in what we're saying. It's really come down to worrying what others will think of us or maybe not wanting to rock the boat because these are, and these are all really common statements said, not just from people who are brand new wanting to get out there, but from people who have been active with their voice for, for several years can still have these ghosts show up. I'm also seeing a really big uh, trend uh, especially over the last couple of years, social media is playing a major role here. It seems like, or maybe it's just that people have become a lot more aggressive, but it really is sad and saddens me that when I'm seeing um, people within their, their friends uh, groups um, become a lot, really a lot of aggression towards one another um, when people are sharing their opinions. I, th I think it's absolutely crazy. It seems like if we're not on the narrative that perhaps uh, it is not one that is yours, uh, then you become penalized for it or attacked for it. And, and this kind of suppression of our voice only causes more silence. So you have that in, in combination with the insecurities that we feel, I mean, they're real, they're normal. And, and that's why it's so really important to be part of community that helps you get past all of these challenges and these little voices for sure. Yeah. So let's talk about that. We uh, want to help you get past the blocks, these challenges and grow your success. So let's start with Michaela defining success. What is success? And should we focus on like a dollar amount or is there more to defining success? Oh, Laura, there can be so much more, right? Success can be defined in so many different ways, depending on your own personal definition of success. However, if you want to use success markers to really drive your business forward, I would consider these three as examples. Um, what, are, what does success look like in your income? What does success look like on the impact you want to make um, for yourself, for your team, for your clients in the world, in your community? Um, and what does success look like in terms of the influence um, uh, that you want to make with your, with your message and with your voice? Um, and more importantly, then once you define what those markers are for you, then how will you measure it? Because as Peter Drucker says, you can't manage things that you don't measure. So using measurements or metrics, or uh, sometimes we call it KPIs, you know, uh, key performance indicators, um, these are um, ways that you can measure what's important to you so that you can manage your business, you can manage your progress, and you can make improvements. You can see what's working, what's not working, and make shifts. This is what I call the dashboard for your business. Um, and uh, it helps you navigate your business uh, growth with a li little bit more purpose and clarity and visibility so that you can um, do so with more confidence. So you're not flying blind, so to speak. Um, and it's, it's that roadmap for your growth. 
Um, there are, you know, some basic KPIs, if you will, that every business needs. So an income or revenue goal, right? Profit goal, uh, gross revenue goal. Those are important, of course, because if we're not earning, we can't continue our good work in the world. Um, but also there's other metrics like how many clients do you want? Um, how many leads do you need to get those clients? Um, how much are, uh, what's the, what are people spending with you? What's the average uh, they spend with you? How often do they buy from from you, etc. So there's lots of different ways um, and measurements. Um, but keep in mind that um, there's three really important um, factors to growing and succeeding in business, um, to grow profitably, to grow sustainably, and I like to call it the three legged stool. So there's mindset, strategy, and ability to implement. And so when we talk about you know, we'll talk a little bit more about those three here, but um, the fear would fall under that mindset piece. Yeah. So speaking of fear, so we have this dashboard We and you talked about that will give you the confidence. We also talked, Gail, you mentioned all the fear, the, all, not the fear, all the things that might be blocking externally, but then there is that fear, right? And how do we overcome it? That These things that are kind of invisible, we don't Sometimes we're aware of it, sometimes we don't, but people have a fear of success. So what advice do you have to help prepare women so they don't let fear stop them? And Michaela, why don't you go over that? Yeah, that's a really good question. So overcoming fear in business is one of the most underrated yet important skills, right? Because mindset is one of the legs in the stool. Um, and so it's got to be part of the journey. It's got to be part of what you work on as a business owner. Um, being paralyzed by fear, whether it's fear of failure, fear, fear of success, fear of um of shaking things up in your community or your family and, you know, um, doing things differently. Um, it's really common, right? And sometimes it's hard to recognize in ourselves. So sometimes we put our things like inaction um, down to like lack of skills, or maybe we say we don't have the money, we don't have the time, we don't have the right network or community, we don't, um, or just plain old procrastination. And sometimes that's actually fear in disguise, right? So I believe the first thing we need to do is really kind of stare it in the face and just kind of like, what are we dealing with here? Like, what is, what is it, right? So that's the first thing is to really get clear on before you overcome it, we really need to figure out what, you know, what it is. And so um, uh, one of the books that I, that really helped me along my journey um, and still on the journey, but uh, helped uh, along the way is by Susan Jeffers, I believe. And she says, feel, fear the fear, feel the fear and do it anyway. I'm sure many of you have heard of this book, read the book. That's what, that's the advice I would give first, read the book um, and, you know, and decide what's worse, right? So there's always two sides. So there's the decide which risk you'd rather take the risk of doing the thing that you're fearing, or the risk of the impact not doing the thing. Really, that's, that's the crux of it. Is it is it worse not to do the thing and not to have the impact and the influence and the income? Or, um, you know, uh, what's, what's more important to you. Um, and so that's really the decision. And then when you make a decision, commit, commit to taking the next step, do it in community, get support, be surrounded by like-minded people, because that's the way you're really going to, um, really get traction with overcoming the fear, being supported, having that wind beneath your wings to keep, going. And once we get into action, then we, that breeds confidence. The more action you take, the more confident you are, the more action you take, the more confident you are. And then we talk about accelerating your business success there. You're on your way. So that's, that's my, that's my tidbits. I love it. And I love that book, feel the fear and do it anyway. It's a classic and um, definitely can shift one's mindset in that three-legged stool. So Gail, what advice do you have to help women to overcome any fear they have and prepare them for success. Well, and this 
uh, I love everything you said there, Michaela, and measurements of your numbers, of course, is really key. But a big piece that's really always helped me in, in my business has been also taking a look at the type and who I'm surrounding myself with. Um, you know, we, we hear the, that saying, we're the sum of the five people who we surround ourselves with the most. It's, it is absolutely true. And some, since, uh, since Michaela threw in measurements about being able to how to um, understand our numbers and things like that, we have to do that with those people around us as well. So you want to observe, are you being encouraged? every time you share something or is your idea being put down right or is it being torn down are your eyes being supported or generated are you people wanting to jump into brainstorm with you or are they saying you know what that's not going to work i've seen that happen before and really trying to push it off to the side because that these are as small as it sounds but it's in your environment, it's our environment that supports us. It's what helps us thrive. Um, and it helps us what keep that keeps us going. So I really encourage, uh, it doesn't have to be your friends. Uh, it doesn't have to be your family. And probably those are, you don't want it to be. You want to get in yourself, get yourself into community where you're able to uh, meet and connect with other like-minded people who are all about wanting to help one another out, to keep pushing each other forward, to help the, the wheels turning when sometimes we get stuck. So um, really take a look at who you're going into 2022 with. Oh, you're muted. Laura, you're muted. I love our community here at Women Speakers Association to, to do just that, Gail. So, um, Michaela, it's a new year. Tell us where we can focus with Women Speakers Association, where women can get that support with their message and accelerating their success. Absolutely. We have some incredible, uh, we call them experiences that you can join into and be a part of, like Gail saying, like-minded community. So there are three in particular I want to draw your attention to. One of them is a fairly new experience that, um, that we've developed called Connector Conversations. These are um, conversations that are hosted uh, by one of our global business connectors um, uh, through Women Speakers Association, and it's, a, it's an online. And each of our connectors is an expert in a particular area. And so she will bring forward a conversation starter and giving you some actionable tips and insights that you can really implement right away in your business. And these conversations happen on the second and third Monday of each month inside the Women Speakers Association Facebook group. So that's the first experience. The second experience is back by popular demand this year is our global virtual networking events. These happen on the um, fourth Wednesday of each and every month, um, open to uh, members and non-members, and where you can get connected uh, with uh, like-minded women, authors, speakers, business owners, experts from around the world, literally um, from North America to Europe to down under. We have um, women joining from all over the world. Um, you have an opportunity to um, present who you are, what you're looking for, uh, make an ask you can get connected, you can create opportunities, maybe collaborative opportunities with others, ask for what you need to really take your business to the next level. And we've had some incredible um, feedback and opportunities and results come out of those events. And, and so highly invite um, you all to join us on the next one, which is coming up uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, January 26th. And the third uh, experience, which I highly recommend, is happening uh, just next week. Uh, Gail and I will be uh, hosting our Speaker Success Training, which is coming up on January the 12th, and again, open to Premier members and uh, our non-members as well. We're going to be talking about three ways to accelerate your business success in 2022. So this is an event not to be missed. It is going to be an interactive workshop style event where you will walk away with um, really identifying and determining your top three things um, in your business that you need in your business based on what your focus is uh, to get traction and to maintain um, and achieve your goals this year. So uh, really, really exciting um, events and experiences to plug into um, this year with WSA. 
I love that we have so much uh, offerings and that's just the tip of the iceberg, but those are three main ways to start getting your mindset involved and connected. Do what Gail, you said is like surround yourself and, and Michaela, you said it too, surround yourself with a community who's cheering you on, who wants your message out there. So Gail, what is the, the thing you want women most w- with a message to know about themselves and about Women Speakers Association? Well, I want everyone out there to know that your message absolutely matters and to join us in Women Speakers Association and join our theme this year, which is to be you in 2022. We want to really, really uh, help you get your message out, to have your message come out in a loud way, have that influence and make that impact that it was meant to have. We want to keep you in your strengths. Uh, surround you with a supportive energy and have those goals, those dreams, you know, come true. Michaela mentioned our training next week. This is going to be awesome because um, in that training, what we're going to do is you get to break down um, and identify your top three priorities in this during this time so that's why it is interactive it's a workshop style and this is to really help create focus so if you're someone like me (laughs) that has multiple tabs open uh, on any given day and um and but what and and you need to get focus because what we do know that the way to achieve our goals the way to achieve success is by focus and um, we want to really help uh, create that environment for you Your gifted message is not only important, it's critical to get out. You have been gifted it for a reason. And those voices that that speak to you, that cause you doubt, we want to help eliminate those or at least really quiet them down. We can do it together. And when we do it together, it does happen. So I invite you just to get connected. Come to the workshop next week um so that we can start this year off uh in a real positive way and in case you're wondering how to find out about all the the initiatives and the speaker success training if you haven't already downloaded your speaker success plan opt in for that at speakersuccessplan.com because then you're on the list to get the email that tells you how to take advantage of everything including next week's speaker success training with Gail and Michaela on these three cel- three strategies to accelerate your business success. It's this is gold. I mean, even if you're even if you've done some planning, but you're not feeling quite focused, or you haven't done any planning, and you're you have some doubts, or you're pretty strong and you want to get that just up to the next level. <laughs> Michaela and Gail are your team. They're going to get you there. So I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to. To, um, to connect with the community in all the ways that Michaela, you talked about and Gail, the way we just do it here at Women Speakers Association. So thank you so much, you two. Is there any final words either one of you wanna share as we leave today's WSA TV show? Okay. I just, yeah, I'd just like to say this is a brand new year. This is a brand new uh, start. This is a fresh start. And you can create and design this year as you choose. And you, you're, you're the architect of that. And, um, and so this is a great opportunity um, to join us at, at you know, what, however you can come and play with us in this community and, um, and really uh, set yourself up for success this year and know that, uh, that we've got your back. So you're never alone. Um, and, uh, and you're always supported and surrounded um, by positivity and community here. And, um, and this is, there's a lot to look forward to, and there's a lot to create this year. So I encourage you to think big. And if you're already thinking big, as Gail says, think bigger. <laughs> and, uh, and we're here to support you every step of the way. Perfect. What she said. That's awesome. <laughs> Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Bye for now.